can business and religion go hand in hand? Many would think there may not be much connection between the two. But a recently released World Economic Forum report, Faith in Action, indicates a deep intersection between business and faith. The report, through eight case studies, offers examples of business partnering with faith-based groups to support vulnerable populations and address world's interconnected crisis. Interestingly, ISKCON and Haripur Company featured among the top four cases. In our research, we came across the work of Horrible and ISKCON and the work that they are doing to mitigate the effects of climate change by empowering rural communities in India and supplying a faith community with products that they desperately need but did not have access to. And so that's why we featured the Horrible case study, because it's such a lighthouse exemplary case study of what is possible when faith and business work together. Haribol is a Mumbai-based food and beverage company established in 2020. It has carved out a unique niche by selling its products to traditional Indian and Hindu groceries globally, contributing to rural development in India, mitigating greenhouse gas emission through their state-of-art technology. For faith organizations, it is not just about PNL. It is about the ethos and it is about protecting the core of doing something. So for us, as Haribol, the core is about serving society. So if I have to take a product and give it to a certain uh, sector of society, or not only just ISKCON, but to the wider audience, it's about they should have this confidence that if it is coming from an organization, it, it, is pure, it has its ethics and values at place. And that is what Haribol, uh, you know, the aim of Haribol is. Given 85% of world's population are religious adherents, the report has advocated that global leaders cannot afford to ignore the impact of religion and spirituality. In Mumbai, Vinny Motiwala with Ankur Mishra for Nitina.